Good morning, Herd Surf. Today we are speaking with Brian Simpson, owner of Five Pound Apparel. Recently, Brian and his team completed a 30-day campaign on Kickstarter where they raised over $30,000 towards a clothing line focused on their favorite state, Missouri. We'll be speaking with Brian uh, about their company as well as their crowdfunding experience. Brian, thanks for having me. Appreciate it. Absolutely. We're just going to go ahead and jump right into the questions. You know, Five Pound Apparel has been in business since 2010. You guys have a store in Enfield, Missouri. What made funding for this particular? Yeah, I've done t-shirts in the store, and they're always really popular for us. Uh, you know, one of the things that the growing small have the to really take an idea and grow it quickly. And uh, we thought these Missouri t-shirts would people in St. Louis or Kansas City. And meanwhile, we have to really start our core business, which is our retail, we have money our, our retail store. So the appeal is that there, everyone, and if they liked it, they could buy the t-shirts. And if not, then we're really back to um, the in the sense that, you know, we could still continue to focus on our core business. But, um, it enabled us to pitch to Missouri and, and really the whole country, and if they liked it, then so now we're able to release the idea to the entire state. So, so. That's great. Is this kind of a campaign for the project? It is, and it, it, we, we had made the video, and we actually didn't know what to do with it. In the back, we always thought that it would be something cool to show to Missouri, but, you know, we thought it was funny, so we didn't just want to, like, throw it on Facebook, and, and so we actually, months before we did to do anything, we didn't. And then it kind of just like a green light went off, and it's like, well, why don't we just put it on Kickstarter? So, um, did a ton of planning into it, uh, although once we did decide to it, um, yeah, total fluke it is is by no means planned. Yeah. The Kickstarter? Yeah. Well, we we'll have little, I don't know, one-liners about the, the state of Missouri. A lot of them are, are so. The guy in the video, his name's Jeff. Um, he's a local comedian, and he's like for the store. And so he'd come in, and, and we would just throw one-liners about Missouri back in Mark True. But so one day we just decided, well, why don't we just uh, make a video? And kind of sat down. And we wrote down like a handful of our favorite one-liners. Jeff went home, and then we found. Um, what, um, it was really just one of those spur of the moments. We had an idea. We thought it'd be funny, and then uh, and then it just happened to turn into a really good video. Nice. Um, was Kickstarter your guys' first choice, and did you consider any of the other forms? Uh, honestly, yeah, that, that probably goes back to the lack of planning. That was just top of mind for us. Um, you know, we we're super happy with the decision, I'll tell you that for sure. I mean, I can't believe the intricacies of the back and managing you know, backers and the ability to manage 800 backers. I can't imagine to do it. And honestly, they made it really easy, and I thought it would get super complicated and hard, but it's it's been great. I mean, couldn't be happier. Uh, Did you have yeah, anything on there? store in Springfield, everything that we sell been at a different nonprofit. Um, whenever we were presenting the process, um, we had mentioned that somewhere in the script that we were going to use some of the proceeds um, that's against their um, to do. So. Uh, all we had to do pull that off, uh, really just say that you know, we weren't going to do that for the Kickstarter campaign. And then, you know, once we print the T-shirts, our store itself will, will just make a donation that will be. And here is that really just try to, you know, make whatever you're doing, you know, relevant to. A, a, a core group of people and for us it just happened to be Missouri but you know that could take shape in any number of ways whether it's athletes or whether it's you know college students but um, that's one of the things that we found with uh, successful campaigns is it just happens to really reach like a core group of people right how long have you been living in Missouri for your whole life um, my whole life yeah it's a trap You'll, once you know, <laughs> uh, yeah we've personally never been there is there anything we should know you know yeah, about it uh, you know, Springfield's home of Bass Pro, which I'm sure you guys have heard of, the, the nation's largest sporting goods store. Uh, it's pretty cool. Um, I mean, beyond that, yeah, it's, just, it's a fun place to visit. People, I think, take it for granted. There, there's so many, like, outdoorsy things to do. And then you've got, like, St. Louis, where you've got professional sports teams and Kansas City. And, um, yeah, I mean, it's just a cool place. I, I, I enjoy living here. And it's super cheap. You guys would appreciate that. <laughs> I mean, if there's any place you could live besides Missouri, where would it be? Man, I, it's hard to say. Uh, I've been fortunate to get to travel quite a bit. My mom's from Brazil and um, gotten to spend some time in Europe. Uh, honestly, for me, it would just be, you know, I, I, I think I'll always call Springfield home, but 
Um, you know, someday it'd be cool to go and like live in Brazil and, and hang out with my family. I, I love the culture down there. So, um, it's hard to say beyond that though. Maybe, uh, check out the world cup. It's coming up. <laughs> yeah. I'm about to book my plane ticket. Actually. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So. Well, yeah, that wraps all of our questions. Is there anything else you'd like to contribute? Yeah, yeah no, I think you guys covered it. Yeah, I would just say, uh, yeah, just enjoy the ride. It's a tough thing. You guys do do a campaign. It's a lot of work, but it's fun. It's rewarding. And uh, I think when you're done, and we're not done yet, but I imagine the, the day that we're done, 